Hey guys, what's up? Big Ortiz here along with Andrew DeGraff, uh, one of my favorite training partners, beats me up all the time, all that good stuff. And today we're going to be looking at two positions that people get complacent in. Um, I, I think that not a lot of people are aware of what uh, aware of what to do when these situations happen. One of them being a leg uh, a leg riding situation. The other being a situation where Andrew so this one, sorry, has me in like a half guard situation where he has this knee in on top, and he has this leg up. And now the issue is if I get flattened out, he gets head and arm. This is horrible. This is where I don't want to be. He has inside position of my legs. He has upper body control. This is no good, so what can we do from here, especially when he's dominating the inside position of my legs? So first, let's look at the leg ride situation. So, we're here, and however it happens, let's say Andrew throws my legs on by, and he gets me into a situation where he pins my legs. First things first, I do not want to flatten myself out, nor do I want to be in a position where I have no distance management of, uh, of, uh, from myself and Andrew. I need some kind of cross frame. So from here, I'm already cross-framing, so when Andrew tries to come forward, it's going to be really, really tough. That's what I need. I need distance management. But I can't stay here forever. Something that I notice a lot of people do, especially when I put them in this situation, is they start to look to take two hands down to my leg, and they start to push. And if I push, and Andrew just comes forward, and he gets a hold of my upper body, this isn't going to work. He's just connecting to my upper body, and it just makes my life a lot uh, more miserable. So again, keep your cross frame. Now, take your left hand or right hand, depending on the side, to your temple. From here, flare your elbow, and now come up to an elbow. Now, once you're in this position, if I just try to push Andrew back, he'll just push into the frame. So what your goal is, is you're gonna look to hit mini kips, where your heels come to your butt as you continuously push your partner back down towards uh, your legs. So if I just push without the kip, then I'm pretty much gonna be unsuccessful. Andrew's just gonna push into me, exactly, or pass the arm on by. So once I get here, I kip and I push, and I begin to look to distance myself from Andrew. Now when Andrew comes forward, I can at least have inside position rather than having him on top of me, or even worse, him controlling my upper body and then moving around my legs. Now let's look at that situation where we were in half guard. And he has the inside position, right? The first thing I want to do is not allow him to flatten me out. This would be absolutely no go. I can't allow this to happen. So again, it's the same thing. Cross frame, so when your opponent tries to get inside position, it's going to be tough. Give yourself time as you're keeping distance management to put your right hand on your temple, or left again, depending on the side, coming up to an elbow and getting into this position like so. Now, Andrew can open this leg up as, he, as wide as he wants. He's splitting my two legs. Again, it's the same thing. I'm shaking, kipping, using light pulse movements while I push him in a backwards direction to look to separate myself. Once I'm here, when Andrew comes back, I can have a foot on his chest, a foot on his knee, and I can at least get center line to center line. So again, whenever we're in these situations, we're always looking, not necessarily to push, but to create some kind of movement where we can push and get away from our opponent at the same time. We never want to be susceptible to being flattened out because yes, they've won the lower body battle, but not the upper body battle. So we can't get complacent and think about, okay, I have to get my legs back. We started to take our hands away from their chest and now they win the upper body battle. Rather, gain some kind of head height or take yourself off the mat. Push them in a backwards direction as you kick. Again, it looks like this, heels to butch. Shake, shake, shake along the mat, get your distance, get right back in front of your partner, and at the very least get some inside position.